Hey, good morning, guys. Now, tenants heard screams coming from that victim's bedroom around 2.30 in the morning on Monday. They couldn't access the first floor of the home due to where the suspect and the victim actually lived, but they tried reaching her later on that morning, and they found out something was wrong then. When they woke up in the morning, they immediately started texting the victim, saying, are you okay? Started calling the victim. The victim didn't answer. There were some texts that were sent back from the victim's phone. It appears from what we know now that the defendant was sending texts from the victim's phone. Police are telling us they believe 69-year-old Frances Walker was killed in her bedroom. Her body dismembered on the first floor of the boarding home where she lived and was placed inside a freezer. She was known for her generosity in the community, even playing the organ at Queen of Apostles Catholic Church. She always reached out to people who were like marginalized in the church, maybe the, the elderly people they can't get around. 36-year-old Sandra Kulalu has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder and concealment of a homicide. I saw a woman carrying a black trash bag coming out of the house. I think I was an eyewitness. Like, I think I saw something going down. Police came to the home in West Rogers Park Monday night to investigate after tenants say they hadn't heard from Francis Walker. When they arrived, Sandra Kulalu was getting picked up by a tow truck driver who took her to Foster Beach where she allegedly dumped a large bag in a garbage can. While inside the home, officers were able to find blood in Francis Walker's bedroom along with her dismembered body in a freezer. Police were notified that tenants were afraid of the suspect and told police she had pulled a knife on the tow truck driver. Police say they arrived at the beach and arrested Sandra Kulalu and found the bag along with bloody rags. Since the arrest, police say the suspect is using her right to remain silent, but they believe they have found a motive for why Francis Walker was killed. Um, the, the deceased, the, the, the person who owns the residence, had actually served the defendant with like a, a notice to leave or an eviction notice. And that was done very recently. I don't want to get the day wrong, but I think it might have even been done as recently uh, um, as of Saturday. Well, that suspect did have a history of previous misdemeanors. Police said that they did uh, have been called to the home multiple times, but they could not confirm if those calls were due to the fact that there was something going on with the suspect. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we receive more information from court later on this morning. For now, we're live in West Rogers Park. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News. Thank you, Glenn. Two police